An ideal gas follows a process described by PV square is equal to constant. Okay, from P1, V1, T1 to final P2, V2, T2. That's how you know the transition is happening. Now we have to go one by one. So P V square is equal to constant. So that means P now V can be written as N R T by P. So this is a square and this is a square. So this is going to be constant. So that means T square by P is going to be constant. So now T1 square by P1 is equal to T2 square by P2. So which is P1 by P2 is going to be T1 square by T2 square. Now P1 is greater than P1 is greater than P2. So therefore T1 square will be greater than T2 square and this T1 will be greater than T2. So therefore this option is not going to satis uh, satisfy that relationship. Okay. Now for B we move on v2 is greater than v1 so there is a relationship between v and t so we substitute p by n r t by v into v square this is going to be constant gone gone so that means t v is equal to constant so therefore t1 v1 is equal to t2 v2 so uh, if v2 is greater than v1 v2 is greater than v1 then obviously t2 has to be less than t1 since like the product has to be the same so v2 is greater than v1 t2 is greater than t1 no t2 is less than yes this is correct so c option is going to be the correct and d option let us do let us see this P1 greater than P2, V1, okay. So PV square is constant, so therefore P1, V1 square is equal to P2, V2 is square. So P1 by P2 is equal to V2 is square by V1 square. So if P1 is greater than P2, then V2 is square is greater than V1 square. That means V2 is greater than V1. So this is you know just the opposite so therefore only option which is satisfying is the c option